Hello, my name is Jim Tucker. I'm with the Pecos Valley Amateur Radio Club as well as the Chavez County Aries Group. And uh, when we were considering an antenna to use at our emergency operations center, that was a we wanted a, a broadbanded, uh, multi-band HF antenna that would replace our uh, existing one there if we needed in case of an emergency or as a backup unit. So naturally, we needed something that was uh, easy to install, quick to install, and uh, quick to get on the air and still uh, perform well. So we decided going with the Comet CHA 250 Bravo, and you can look up the specs on these. There's a few of them right here. This is a, uh, it's been a real good antenna, or it will be a good, real, real good antenna. It did real good on the whisper light when we first hooked it up. And we're going to show you just how easy and quick it is to put this antenna together. So if you're ever tasked upon to do this, uh, you'll have a little bit of an idea already, and you can go right to it. Okay, here's all the parts of the antenna laid out. And as you can see, there's five sections. And all the hardware we keep in place. That way there's no guessing. These uh, bolts are, are shorter than these down here so that um, we keep them in place with the wing nuts. So like I said, there's no guessing. You can just take and um, big inside of little. This section goes into the bottom with the uh, uh, hose clamp. So you're going to need preferably a 5 16 nut driver or a straight bladed screwdriver. And then you're also going to need a uh, Phillips screwdriver for this one. Everything else, like I said, is wing nuts. You've got your uh, uh, first section, or second section goes inside your first, third goes inside the uh, second, and then so forth and so on, with this being your, your last section. And we've even marked the length here, I believe it's uh, eight inches, or eight inches on the bottom one, four inches on the top one, I believe is what it uh, measured out to. But like I said, they're all pre-marked for you, so all you gotta do is slide them in, clamp them down, and uh, you're good to go. Okay, in real time, this only took me about five minutes to put together, but I'm going to go down here and show you. Here's the base of the antenna, of course. That's where you'd put your coax. And, of course, the first clamp is a worm gear clamp, regular 5 /16ths. In fact, if you haven't lived long enough to realize that this is one of the most useful, valuable tools in existence, it's the... Um, it's actually, well, it's actually six tools in one, but it contains your five sixteenths uh, and a quarter inch uh, nut driver, and of course your uh, large and small Phillips and regular screwdriver um, blades, tips, and then of course the handle. Great tool to keep around anywhere. But anyway, you come up here, you don't even really need it for this part. You got your three wing nuts. And here is your uh, section to, you know, I carry some uh, paracord, and I'm not just exactly sure what we're, uh, we're going to do with the Pecos Valley Amateur Radio Club. We haven't really come up with a definite plan. Really no need to. Uh, most everybody runs around with some paracord um, or small uh, uh, rope in their cars and stuff like that for this kind of thing. So um, you guy it off there. You sure don't want the wind to get a hold of it because it will uh, if you give it half a chance, especially around New Mexico. Two wing nuts and bolts up here, and then right up here are these two clamps. And these clamps, you got to really be careful because if you back those little bolts out of there too far, they'll fall out and you can lose them. But they go through a hole in this uh, mast and then they clamp against the top one. And of course, there's your uh, rubber uh, protector there at the top. Anyway, this antenna is ready to go. And all you have to do is uh, put it on a mast. And for illustration purposes, right here, right now, we've got a tripod with a mast set up on it. And you could just lean it over, slap it to uh, that mast, put your coax on it, and uh, crank it up, guide off, and you're on the air. So anyway, that's it. And if you have any questions, be sure to drop us a line or something. But this is a great antenna. Uh, it runs a little bit. I think this antenna was $379. But I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's good for what, uh, what you want. If you want a quick, deployable, um, all-band, how would you say, all-wide-band all, uh, uh, range antenna. So... That's it. Again, this is Jim Tucker wishing you 73. Happy hamming and join us sometime at the Pecos Valley Amateur Radio Club. We'd love to have you.